called shotgun. You'll be alright. Alright guys. We're off. We are off. Get that back. You got room? Alright guys, we're off. Finally, we're gonna go pick up the Mustang and how fitting. Being delivered at a GT350. We Buckled in too. Yeah, safety first. Safety is the number one priority. Mm. That day. Oh, why is it, oh, man? All right, Rob. Thank you so much for bringing us to the airport. No worries, We're gonna man. go pick up my Mustang and uh, yeah, take care of this this gorgeous car. Hope to see uh, Carnage back here in uh, Tennessee <laughs> safely this time. Yeah, in one piece. Yeah. Let's not hit any metal objects in the, in the road. Yes. Because I'm driving. Oh, is that what it is? <laughs> well, we're gonna try to avoid the ditches this time, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like I said, he's the one that put it in the ditch further. <laughs> <laughs> So the plane has been delayed like uh, five hours, Probably something like, like that. Thank, oh, you. thank you. Thank you. But thanks. Good job, Frontier. Good job. Yeah, we have evidence that they've known. They've been pulling our chain. Mm. You guys knew about this for a long time now. But not a good start to go pick up the car. But we're gonna stay positive. Okay, so the flight is canceled. After hours and hours of waiting, we have a frontier flight from Nashville to Trenton. Basically what's happening is, basically we have like seven different stories about what happened to the aircraft. Uh, I actually know the truth, but it's mostly coming down to the pilot. They had a mechanical issue. It got fixed in time at the pilot just basically said, nah, I don't wanna work anymore and then he just basically walked off so good job frontier but you have like 150 people here that are just clueless they don't know what's going on the staff has not a clue the hotline people have not a clue they are not giving out any rental cars they're not giving out any hotel vouchers nothing frontier you have completely just dropped the ball on this i've never ever seen a, a profession a working profession that did not have any kind of a backup plan or any kind of an SOP whatsoever. Hello, good morning. Right. As long as it's within your zone, but I'll come back there and show you what you can now in Atlantic City just wandering around and uh, yeah jaywalking is cool that's cool then
All right, guys, we're getting to the meat of the video. Don't worry, it's coming. We just want to do a pit stop in Atlantic City. I've never been here, and I did not know what I'm about to show you is here, and I thought that it was worth mentioning, so here we go. Okay, real fast, New Jersey Korean War Memorial. You guys know that I'm a veteran, and I want to thank everybody for their service that has served or is serving or will serve in the future, but the Korean War is something that's not really mentioned. Everybody knows about World War II, Vietnam, and all that, but everybody forgets about the Korean War. So I just want to stop here for a second. We're going to explore some of these names, all of these fallen warriors here, and just kind of pay our respect. And then we're going to move on. We're going to pick up the car and get on with it. But yes, out of respect, we're going to take a moment of silence. All right, guys, we made it. Finally, we are here, Holman Ford in New Jersey. I know everybody wanted to know where the vehicle was before. I didn't really want to like just put that out there until it was fixed. Uh, not that I don't trust anybody, it's just that I wasn't trying to throw the dealership's name out there in case there was a problem. And uh, anyway, it is what it is, but we are early, so the car's not done, so we're gonna like, I don't know, sit in a car, be hot, explore around, see what's what, and hopefully in just a couple of minutes, We'll finally have our car back after over 30 days. So this is the new stuff here. A new pan. Oh, that's, that's, uh, yeah, okay. Got it. Where's the, uh, the place that was pushed in, the floorboard that was actually been, uh, you remember? The floorboard. Jimmy, did you see the floorboard where it was pushed up anywhere? Yeah, see, the body shop has their portion. Right. Ronnie, where's the floorboard pushed up? The floor was pushed up right here. He's right there. Oh, yeah, it looks, you're just new. Okay. Somewhere right around there. This is, uh... Yeah, we hit the hell out of it. That's bad. Well, we still don't have the car. We went all the way up there. We waited, uh, got there early so they could put it all together. And there you go. You saw all of the footage. It's not done. Dying without it. You guys are dying without it. We want the car back, but we do want it back properly because we want to send this car in a straight line down the drag strip fast without anything going wrong and remember we had like some front suspension stuff so we do want to make sure that everything is like good to go so tomorrow 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 same video for you but i have to wait forever but i do want to thank staying mode so very much uh he's he's letting me stay at the house um we did stay in a hotel a couple of nights because he had to go out and do some family stuff but that's cool but he did let me borrow his brown mamba of course he's got his black mamba here yes i know it's not black it is actually a color changing paint and it does change colors it's like purple now it's blue now it's purple now it's blue anyway so thank you so very much i really really means a lot to me that you, you were able to help me out and let me borrow your car here so this will be the hot rod for the next day or so and then finally hopefully tomorrow we'll have the car instead of this being here we'll have my red car and that'll be it we're gonna make the best of the situation given we have an extra day up here since the car's not ready but expect a very detailed awesome review of the brown mama the one we're driving which is his secondary vehicle there oh i gotta go i gotta beat traffic yeah it's starting to rain but we're going up to casper's he's going to drop this thing off for some service and we're going to have some more fun and then hopefully god willing we'll have the car back tomorrow but yeah two valve these things are fun i, I miss having one had one in high school but i love it over here compared mm. to uh 35 yeah for five course that's not bad yeah it's not bad at all i bad. usually spend like he's got a purple mustang guys yeah it's kind of a blue and a purple royal purple it's fitting 530 guys a lot of you guys ask me on the channel like what will we recommend i recommend at bare minimum 530 As, at minimum yeah yeah at minimum but i use something like this a full synthetic uh pins oil yep. and i've got i'm tick free right now and i don't know if there's a difference between 18 well, 19 so far, but 
when we did the 5W30 Royal Purple with the Saratech, mm -hmm. the car has been nice and quiet. Perfect. It's been good. So I'm keeping it with it. I mean, this is what this is what came with the car. Exactly. The 520 stuff. I mean, when it feels like... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying, but still. <laughs> no, it's good stuff. Yeah. It's fine. It's synthetic... Yeah, I can't speak. It's a synthetic blend. Um, I use this. He's going to use that. But um, I definitely encourage that this should be like your minimum weight. Almost. Uh, almost. That's the basic. Arguably, maybe even like a 540. Four, yeah, arguably, yeah. If you're supercharged. 550. 550. Yeah. 550. Oil, which they don't sell at Walmart, is probably your best. Your best. I'm going to call HP 2011 on your K&N. Where are they? Where are they? I don't see him. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh I think that's a part number. Oh, right there. There it is. Right there. All right, we're back. Where's my car? Let's go find it. It's here. It's ready. I got the phone call. Today's the day. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go. Finally, finally, we have the car back. It is filthy, but it's been sitting here for so long. Look at this. This is so bad. But that's okay. We'll take it home. I told him don't wash the car because I'm going to give the bath when we get home. 15-hour trip back to Tennessee. But big shout-out to the dealership. I know it took a little bit of time to get it done, but they wanted to make sure it, you know, got fixed properly. Um, but we still need to replace this underneath there, this balance. It's a little bit cracked up, so we're going to get that replaced. And we still got to get the exhaust replaced. We're going to replace the axle backs with the Corsa system. But this is the new bumper here. Remember, it had a bunch of damage. Look at this. This transmission fluid is still in there, still wet. That's uh, interesting. But anyway, new bumper, new everything. It should be good to go. Oh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I'm just gonna sit here and look at the car. <laughs> I'm trying not to fall over. But man, yeah, it's been uh, it's been about five weeks, I think. It's been a long five weeks though. But all right, that's it. Let's hop in the car and go for a ride and see what's what. All right, let's get this cold start. Guys, I am so excited to be back at this Mustang. It's just like when we got hit before. Oh man, we went like four weeks that time. I think it was just killing me. But when I saw the car after it was fixed, it was like buying it all over again. It was like brand new. I've got the same feeling with this guy here. So it's dirty, it's filthy. This thing is nasty and needs a bath. But you know what? We're back in the Mustang. We are back. Oh man, it's been so long. You guys have been waiting for this for a long time, and so have I, believe me. Gone without the car for like, I think like five weeks, maybe? Yeah, it's been about five weeks. Yeah, surrounded by traffic. All I want to do is send the car on the highway. I just want to punch it. I haven't been in anything fast in a while, um, and I'm just, I've got that itch, you know what I mean? But yeah, we're gonna drive home safely this time. Uh, can't stop smiling. What's great is we already have mods in the garage waiting to be installed on the car. As soon as we get back, we're gonna just start doing suspension stuff. We're gonna start doing other things with the car. We're gonna order new tires. It's already burned them up from the trip up here before. And we're gonna put it back on the racetrack and we're gonna chase tens. We're gonna do axles. We're gonna do drive shaft. We're gonna do all that stuff. We're gonna have a blast. As you guys know, this is just the beginning on this channel. This is just the beginning. We've been doing this YouTube thing for about a year and a half now. It's been fun and exciting, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for all of us. This is so fantastic. All right, that's the video. Finally, we have the car back. The large metal came from the back underneath of a semi. Could not get out of the way. I was on a highway running about 75 mile an hour. You guys know this story. What they have done is Put a new trans pan on. They've got a new subframe on the front now. Um, wow, New Jersey drivers, good lord. All the heat shielding got messed up. Uh, the passenger header, the course of the header got banged up. The exhaust got banged up. The bumper got broken. There's like eight grand of damage done to the undercarriage of the car. So, but everything so far seems to be just fine. You thought we weren't gonna do a pull? You thought wrong! Thank <laughs> you. 